Hey guys, quick message before we start. Number 12 and number 13 in the fact list, uh, they are critical spoilers. You have been warned, but otherwise it should be easy sailing. Woo! Hey everybody, it's Triple L and today, let's talk some My Hero Academia. Specifically today, let's talk about Tokoyami Fumikage, the guy, the myth, the bird with a dangerous shadow hiding in his shadow, the, the shadow beast user. The guy that uses the shadow beast, Dark Shadow, the really, really creepy quirk. So yeah, guys, 13 facts or details that maybe you didn't realize about Tokuyami Fumikage. Let's talk about it. Let's explore the character. We know the basics of the guy. He's a guy with a bird head and the quirk that is Dark Shadow. Let's go a little bit deeper and see if there's anything that you may not be aware of. Number one, the name Tokoyami means eternal darkness. Man, with a name like that, it's it's no wonder the kid is the way he is. And it's not even the parents' fault. Tokoyami is the last name. Number two, Tokoyami's hero name, Sukuyomi, comes from the Shinto moon kami or deity Sukuyomi no Mikoto. The only thing that really connects the two characters, however, is that Tokoyami is a dark guy and Tsukiyomi was given the role of ruler of the night by parent deity Isanagi. Tsukiyomi does have a sister deity in Amaterasu however, so maybe there is someone with a fire shadow beast walking around. That would be cool. Number 3. Tokoyami's character shows characteristics of being what you would call Chuni. Roughly translating to meaning uh, middle school syndrome. Mind you, it's Japanese words, so the direct application here might be a bit sketchy. Anyway, it's pretty much this phenomena where uh, teenagers think they're the most amazing thing and act in ways to distinguish themselves from others. Maybe a bit of teenage rebellion here and there. Uh, with Tokoyami, the characteristic he takes from the archetype is uh, his naming sense, his like of dark memorabilia, and his use of complex words to convey very simple thoughts. And guys, you, you really can't argue this one. The character shows tendencies consistent with the Chuni type character. Bonus fact, he's also the kind of guy that thinks hanging uh, wings off of his lighting fixture is cool. Number four, that's not to say it's a bad thing, it's just a character. Have fun with it. And that's what the author does. The author thinks that Togoyami is the epitome of cool, but he acknowledges that society, yeah, Togoyami might not be that cool. And that's pretty much what being Chuni means. Bonus fact, Togoyami wears a choker, which is so cool. Number five, Togoyami's dark shadow is one of two quirks shown so far that creates a more or less distinct ego or mind that is capable of having its own thoughts and feelings. We see this whenever it cries at Bakugo. Number six, Dark Shadow is also one of two quirks shown thus far that actually is able to rampage against the user's will. In Dark Shadow's case though, like this is definitely a product of Dark Shadow getting stronger at night and its mind getting more unruly to go along with increasing darkness. Number seven, Tokoyami's hero costume at first glance seems to just be Tokoyami liking the dark things again, but actually it has a tactical benefit. That being that the shadow the costume produces powers up Dark Shadow. So really, props to him, he, he figured this out. Which is really good because a dark shadow exposed to too much light is weaker than a cockroach. That was fact number eight. Tokoyami was initially a popular character in Japan, landing at a peak of seventh place. He was unfortunately knocked out of the top 10, however, in the following two polls. Poor guy. Number 10. Thankfully, however, the US fans have his back. Tokoyami has appeared in seventh and eighth place for the US popularity polls. Fact number 11, Tokoyami is the 14th student in class 1A. Funnily enough, he was also ranked 14 out of 20 in the exams. The point here is just that, you know, Tokoyami was uh, 14th both times. It's, it's, it's just funny. And overall, it's not a good showing for Tokoyami. Bonus fact, uh, Bakugo has made Tokoyami his bitch on two separate occasions. One time was in front of a lot of people. Number 12, we know we have the main characters, Ida, Ochako, Bakugo, Todoroki, Izuku, obviously, and then maybe Suyu and Kirishima, depending on how you want to argue it. Everyone else in Class 1A, they're pretty much side characters, but Tokoyami stands most prominent amongst them as a character that has received significant distinctions in the story. Tokoyami is a special kid. Firstly, he got a third place finish in the sports festival. And then, on another occasion, he was almost kidnapped along with Bakugo after the villain alliance saw his destructive potential. 
giving him effectively the same kind of distinction that Batgirl was given, that being he's attractive enough that the villain alliance wants them. And recently it was quietly revealed that Tokoyami was out on internship as well during the internship arc. The distinguishing feature here is that Tokoyami did this without asking for a favor from one of the big three, which was what the other kids who went on that internship pretty much ended up doing. Tokoyami's been doing something in the background and the author is definitely playing coy, but he is giving us enough little hints and details to remind us there's something special happening with Tokoyami. And again, he did this by his own merit, for as far as we know, he didn't ask for any favors. Number 13, Tokoyami has a technique called Black Ankh. The Ankh is a prominent esoteric symbol from ancient Egypt. Maybe you've seen it in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, there's a lot of esoteric meaning associated to the Ankh, but not much of it can actually be tied to Tokoyami at a glance. The Ankh is a hieroglyph that does mean life, however, and you could associate that to Tokoyami being protected by Dark Shadow with this particular technique on. He's protecting Tokoyami's life effectively by um, eliminating Tokoyami's weaknesses. Funnily enough though, the Ankh is tied more to Sunrise and you can kind of see the image in the symbol. What I ultimately see here though is that Tokoyami found something he thought was cool that has some connection with the afterlife and decided to adopt it. And this is totally what Chunis do. Uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, jokes aside, uh, that's it. Uh, 13 facts about Tokoyami. And let's throw an extra run in there. Tokoyami's most prominent ship in the series is his one with Suyu. And that will be covered on the channel too soon, so if you're into that, stay tuned. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video, man. I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Let's end it there. Thanks for watching, and until next time. I hope you have a great day. Also, did you like the animation of my face here? Oh, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, till next time.